Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are uh, back with the second show of the day. Uh, I did a show earlier today on sorry, Jamal Charlo calling out, uh, saying he wants to unify and take a look at why he's the best guy in the division. Uh, I want to get to the second show today. Chris Colbert um, needs a new opponent. Um, Cuban great. Um Yuri Yorkis Gamboa is pulled out with an injury. We can get into that later, but I want to focus there on who we can um, get to replace him. Um, if you're asking me, Chris Colbert is one of the premier guys in boxing under the age of 25. He's 24 years old. Uh, he's absolutely phenomenal. I said I think he beats Shakur Stevenson. That's how good this kid is. I think he beats Shakur Stevenson right now. Prime time, as they call him, a little B-hop. The kid skills. And his speed, he's only got six knockouts, but a little deeper dive into his record. Like, he knocked out Austin DeLay. He's got knockouts over, over names. Like, he's got knockouts. He's got power. Um, kid is special. Kid is, it, it, it is really, really special. Uh, look, at he's got uh, – Belt, uh, Miguel Beltran, he knocked out. Uh, Jesse Carlos, he went 12 with. Uh, I'm your belt, though. He, you know, he's knocked out. And then, of course, he's got a uh, knockout over Austin Delight. So as the competition has gotten steeper, his power has shown up. Mario Barones, uh, Barones, Beltran, Dule are just uh, some of the knockouts he has recently, right? So, um, as he's fought better and, and tougher competition, he's brought his power game up. Um, so, look, Shakur Stevenson can do one thing. He can fight going backwards. He can fight going sideways. He can't fight coming forward. He can't really stand and trade with you. And I'm not knocking Shakur Stevenson. I think Shakur Stevenson beats everyone in the division except for Chris Colbert. If you haven't seen Chris Colbert yet, he's phenomenal. He's out of Brooklyn, New York. Um, again, he's a five out of five. He's like in baseball, they call it a guy who can hit for power, hit for average, uh, has a big arm, can steal bases, right? They call him a five to, a five tool player. He's a five tool player. He's a five star. He's a five star player. He's a five star fighter. Um, so who who can we get him in the ring with, right? Because it's two weeks notice now. Uh, fight is July third. Um, so we got some time to get him an opponent. First name I want to throw out there is Tevin Farmer. Tevin Farmer says he always stays ready. Tevin Farmer said he wanted to fight Chris Colbert in the past. As he always stays ready, put Tevin Farmer in there. That might be a bit much, all right? So let's stop the brakes on that. that. That would be the first pick. If Tevin Farmer is serious and he always stays ready, put Tevin Farmer in. Um, Italian, undefeated Italian prospect, um, Michael Magnisi. You guys might not know him. He's 19-0, really good-looking Italian prospect. Uh, other names that may be easier to make, one Albert Belt. Fights on PBC cards, same weight class. Uh, fought a couple months ago, who so should be ready. Um, those two names are going to be linked together for a while. A way, for a while. Why not put them in there? I think Al Bell is a good name. And then the other name is a rugged guy. I, I find that I would like a guy I always want to see get a shot, and that's Renee Alvarado. Um, Renee Alvarado. Has, has has taken fights like this, you know, kind of like the Glenn Johnson, a, a, a world-class type of fighter with big wins, um, who takes fights whenever he can get them and shows well. Like, I'm not picking any of these guys to beat Chris Colbert because I don't pick anyone in this division to beat Chris Colbert. Uh, but these are a couple of things I think that you can get um, on, on relatively short notice, um, which would make a decent fill-in. Um, Every name I gave here, I, I, I think, is as good or better 
than a, a, a and I'm not trying to say Gamboa is washed, but a washed up Gamboa. I, I don't know how else to put that. Um, one name I, I, I know you guys aren't going to really know is Manisi, uh, Italian fighter. Uh, he's been on a couple of big cards, uh, not big cards, I shouldn't say. Um, he's been on, on a couple of cards, so, so uh, match from Italy. Um, he fought back in April, got a first round knockout, and then he fought back in November of 2020, got a fifth round knockout. He's riding about five, six, six knockouts in a row, seven knockouts in his last eight fights. Switches back and forth from a conventional and southpaw stance. He holds an IBO belt. He's a legitimate guy. I, I think that you can get him. Um, again, it's not going to set the world on fire, but he's a good opponent. Um, and the other names, uh, Bell and Alvarado, they were e easier to get. Um, and I think those are good fights as well. But obviously, the name I would like to see is Tevin Farmer. I doubt that gets made. You know, I'm just being realistic. Um, Tevin Farmer says he stays ready. He's always in shape. He's, always, he's got two weeks to get ready for Chris Colbert. I, I don't think he would take that. Um, he's a little bit too big of a name for that. But these other names, um, I, I, I think, are legitimate. And, again, I'm not picking any of them to beat Chris Colbert. Chris Colbert is a, a, a world-class fighter. He's, I think, the best guy in the division. Um, he will be a long-reigning champ if he stays in this weight class. He's that good. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Are you interested in these names? Are there any names that I didn't mention that you think would – Take this call on two weeks' notice, and any names that um, you know would we'll take it and make it interesting, as interesting as Gamboa would. Right? Because I don't think anyone picks Gamboa to win that fight. Um, Gamboa has been fighting at thirty-five. This is at thirty. Um, so th those are a couple of names that I would like to see. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please subscribe to Texas Boxing Scene. Uh, that's the brand new channel. Um, Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to the charity, Autism Research and Recovery. Uh, please hit the uh, thumbs up, hit the bell icon, all that good stuff. Uh, it is June 21st, 2020. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.